Good morning, everyone. Rich Nass, Executive Vice President with Open Systems Media, leader of the Embedded Computing Design franchise here at Embedded World. We are back at Embedded World. Can you believe that? It's been two and a half years since we have done this. Uh, I'm here with Hayden Povey. You are the, uh, I know you're the Emir of Security. What's your official title with IAR? Um, so I'm Chief Strategy Officer for IAR and also uh, General Manager of the Secure Things or Embedded Software. Well, Hayden knows more about security than probably anybody that I know, so um, I want to get right into that. The issue on the table here is that engineers, developers are starting to take security seriously, finally, but they're not going nearly deep enough to what they need to do. A, do you agree with that? And B, if you do, what's the next step? What do they need to do? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right, Rich. Um, we have seen a sea change in the last perhaps six to uh, eight months mm -hmm. where people are now, instead of asking why they need security, they're now understanding that they have to achieve it. And is that driven by people getting uh, hacked? Or is, is it just, okay, we need to do this? This, there's probably two things. I think being hacked is obviously very much at the forefront of people's minds. Um, but also the legislation which is now really starting to Good gather point. pace. Yep. Um, so in the UK, for example, we have the product security telecoms infrastructure and that delivers fines up to 10 million pounds. That's about $13 million. And that's the same as GDPR was. Mm -hmm. uh, and that really starts to focus people's thoughts, as it should. Uh, and we see the same in the US, obviously, with the Cybersecurity Improvement Act, and in Europe with uh, specifications uh, like the EN303645. So these things are having the desired effect, which is to focus the mind. Okay. Um, from an engineering developer standpoint, what do they do? I, you know, we've, we've always talked about you have to do it right from the beginning. Yeah. Is, 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 is there more to it than that? Um, I think people need to start somewhere. And along with the legislation, they need to understand how security is inherent to, to the system. It needs to be the, a foundational piece. And from our perspective, that means doing it right at the start and planning it out as part <coughs> of the the core of the project work. Um, it can't be an afterthought and too mm -hmm. often security is something that people tend to, oh, I'll stick it in the second version or I'll do mm -hmm. it later, I'll come back to it. You, you can't do that. Uh, and so bringing that technology to the front is really important. Understanding the uh, capabilities of devices and helping in the choice of the devices mm -hmm. is also really important. Um, what we are doing at IAR with our embedded trust platform means that we can bring those wizards and tick boxes to the front, mm -hmm. try and make it as easy as possible, uh, and try and abstract some of the security challenges away from the hardware, making it um, simple to do security. But it seems like the bigger problem is actually all the legacy hardware that's already out there. I mean, there's billions and billions of dollars of stuff that's already deployed. Yeah. Do I just keep my fingers crossed and hope <laughs> that I'm not next, or what do you do? Well, I think there are two things which you can do. Um, in many cases, we can inject security later in the development process, adding in secure boot managers, leveraging is, some capabilities. Is that as effective? It's never as effective. Security should be done from, from the start. It's a lot like ourselves as humans, you know, we have our birth certificate, which is generated at birth. Mm -hmm. And then we use that to enable ourselves to have driving licenses and, and other forms of identity, but they all reference back ultimately to our birth certificate. That's a good analogy, and I've never heard that one before. <laughs> We, we, have to, we have to do this and we have to um, make sure that it really is at the center of what we're doing, putting in the right keys and certificates mm -hmm. so that we can build layers. There is no silver bullet for security. It is a layering of technology to defend 
the chip to defend pro, uh, personal data, to defend communications, and all of these things do require some thought. And the more you can do it up front, the better. But you're absolutely right. There's a lot of people who, unfortunately, are doing midlife kickers. We mm -hmm. can add secure boot managers into those. Or they may have just come to the end of the project and just gone, we need to add it, or we've got products uh, mm -hmm. out there. And we can, with our new uh, Orbit tool, actually add security very late uh, in the process. So you can help, they should be coming to you. We certainly can help, and we'd love to be talking to everybody. Awesome, thank you, Hayden. Thank you, Rich.